How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to show you guys how to carve a tree. Out of a tree. Yeah? There you go. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so the first step in this big old process here is finding yourself a tree that ranges from 2 feet to about 3 feet. This one is 2 foot 8 inches. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut the log all the way in half. So then we get two trees out of one tree. Yeah? Yeah. Now that we've got our log cut in half, there's there's a kind of a variety of different styles of trees you can do. And we know our tree is going to be about here, and here is where all the bushes and the and the branches are going to be. Then you got like a little stem, and I like to leave a spot at the bottom to write welcome because 10 out of 10 they'll sell better if they have the word welcome written on them. I don't know how it works. People just like being greeted by a tree. Hi guys, it's different. So you can just go straight. Just drawing uh, a, just a perfect triangle. Me, I like a little bit more whimsical, so what I do is I'll start from one side, make a crescent shape, and then make a hard, aggressive crescent shape on this side. You'll see in a sec what I mean by that. And then, uh, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna point it at the top, so you're gonna cut the top down. So I'll get you the step by step on each cut on this one, because this uh, is fun stuff. So we'll do the first two curved cuts, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. This is the whimsical tree shape that I'm going for. You got one hard curve on one side and then a little shallow curve on the inside. Now the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into the bottom here and leave a little bit of base about, you know, like a, a chainsaw bar width at the bottom here. So we're gonna go in on one side, in on the other, and then we're gonna go down and we're gonna go out, all right? Let's do that. Alright, so what we're gonna do after we've got this cut out is we're gonna we're gonna cut it this way now. So it kinda comes from a point up here to fat out here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the top. We're gonna cut it all the way about maybe three inches on the back end and we're gonna bring that down. While we have it like this, what you're going to do also is you're going to go over these edges here in the corners to kind of round the tree off to give it that half, half round look. And then we're going to level off the base because i got a whole bunch of gouges in here. No doubt you probably will too. Give you a bit of a close up of what's going on here. We've, uh, how does this look? Okay. So we've rounded the edges. You can see that. It's got that nice shape of a Smurf hat. Got your base and a nice thick bottom. Try to leave this relatively thick because they do crack and dry really good. There are three main ways of carving the, the branches on here and I will show you each of them. So the first one is just, uh, just making little, little crisscross crisscrosses, like C's almost. And uh, you cut it once and then you go back into that same cut and just cut it more aggressively in a down manner so it kind of gives it that depth. So I'll get, I'll get the camera up close here and we'll, we'll show you how to do the first one.
So for the, for this <clears throat> style here, right, it's it's really straightforward. You just cut in and then go in again more aggressive. And then you start from the middle, usually of, uh, of the last piece you cut, go in out to the side, then in more aggressive. Then start from the middle again, in, in, then in more aggressive. Then once again, start from the middle, and it kinda, it kinda makes it look so it's, you know, you got your zigzag all the way down. That's, uh, this is the standard style of tree I make for, uh, just because I'm able to make them fast and relatively easy. Now you can go over and put lines on here to make it look like it's all, all brushy and all that, but I'll just end up sanding it. So for the next part here, we're gonna, the next part we're gonna make, make the trunk. So we're just gonna tighten that up at the bottom and round it off and then just put some lines on it to make it look like a tree trunk there. Voila, you got a trunk. Now, for the bottom portion, we're gonna write welcome on here. So, uh, if you're if you're new new to uh, new to carving and uh, yeah, you're not too familiar with like drawing words on with a chainsaw, I suggest you get a piece of wood that's relatively the same size and then you test it on that before you test it on something you can professionally in a sense, right? So, a trick that I learned for writing welcome is welcome is is a seven-letter word. Right, so there's one letter in the middle there, uh, W E L C, like the C. The C is the center of that word. So by drawing a C, it's a lot easier. Uh, right in the middle of your whole welcome area, it's a lot easier to dictate how big the other letters are going to be. In a sense, it starts from just just going with the W E L, and then then you you're halfway through, and then you have to fit four letters in on the other side. It's just it kind of saves you a headache from having to draw it out or, or measure it out and stuff like that. So. You, you need to have a power gouge for it. Uh, 
I suggest you get this orange one. I, I put it through the ringer many times, and, and it's still had up, held up over over the last uh, couple of months, which is more than I can say for a lot of things. Um, for this one, you're just taking chunks out. Yeah, you're just gonna. It's hard to explain. I, I might as well just show you. So basically, just just gouge your, the crap out of it, you know? So that's, that's, that's the last one. Now these ones are extremely hard to sand, so I don't usually put any clear glue on them. I'll just torch them really, really good, and then I'll, I'll hit them with a brush to finish it. Yeah. All right, guys, that's, that's all three trees. And there you have it. I mean, that's a really, really simple way of, uh, I've got a couple more carvings that I'm going to be doing time lapses on first before I start gearing up for a rodeo that's happening in August. A uh, couple things in the works for you guys along the lines of me uh, making a video on my setup for for doing shows. Uh, I think that'd be pretty pretty cool to let you guys in on, on all the stuff that I have set up and kind of how much it costs to, to get a setup going and I mean you can but we'll get into that when that happens. Uh, Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button, hey? Does me a favor. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see uh, me carve up next or what kind of tutorial, tutorial you would like to have me done. I've seen a comment for doing a horse head uh, recently, and I will be doing a step-by-step -step on that. I just need to get some larger carvings done before I can do a small one like that. So just keep holding on. I'll, uh, I'll get one of them horse head carvings done for you. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, keep on carving. <laughs>